I have to defend my NASA. Yeah, right. <laughs> so NASA, we haven't been back to the moon for nearly 50 years. Why is that? And NASA's like, uh, yeah, uh, in the past 50 years, technology's actually gotten worse. Yeah, the experts say human knowledge is doubling every 13 months. And yeah, your smartphone has more computing power than all of NASA's computers combined in 1969. But aside from all that, technology is actually getting worse, making it impossible to go back to the moon. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much our airtight reason for why we haven't been back to the moon for 50 years. No, that's not what NASA says. That's not the reason we haven't been back to the moon. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just basically making shit up. Technology, no one's saying that the technology has gotten worse. You know, rocket technology has been steadily improving. Obviously, computer technology to run, you know, the, the, you know, the rockets and navigation, et cetera, are massively better. There's been, you know, improvements in material science. There's been improvements pretty much across the board. The problem is that it's still stupid, ridiculously expensive to go to the moon. And the question is, well, why should we? We had a pretty clear reason for going to the moon in the 1960s and early 1970s. It was to beat the Soviet Union there. That was pretty much it. We were in a space race with our, with our number one geopolitical rival, and we were very highly motivated to beat them to the moon, and we did. Of course, once we did, there wasn't much of an incentive to keep doing it. So we didn't even completely fund the rest of the Apollo program. It got cut short because it was like, ah, it's a, you know, it's costing us billions of dollars. Do we really want to keep doing this? And then when Apollo 13 happened, they were like, it's also risky. Maybe we should cut our losses. You know, we've, we, so far, we've gotten everyone back that we sent to the moon, I mean, other than Apollo uh, was it Apollo One, the one that blew up on uh, that caught fire on the on the launch pad? Um, that that was the only loss of life in the Apollo program. But then they sent people to the moon and back. Every mission was successful. No, you know, nobody lost their life, and they wanted to stop while they were ahead. But anyway, why have we gone back since then? Because we haven't financed it. That's it. We haven't you know put ponied up the money to spend the billions of dollars it would take to get to the moon. For, we wanted to focus on the shuttle program and then the International Space Station. Those were NASA's sort of major people in space projects. Uh, they thought there would be more bang for the buck there. We would bring down the cost of getting to space by having a reusable shuttle, and it was true, uh, although it was still expensive. But getting to the moon is a different beast. It is really expensive, even with modern rocketry, modern technology. And what do we do there? is the other question. So now with the Artemis program, we're talking about developing a permanent infrastructure on the moon, not just going there on one-off missions, but still the space launch system is kind of designed for single missions. They're not reusable rockets. Um, and it costs billions of dollars per launch. So it's still really expensive to get there. Once we get there, we're hoping to, to have a space station and a moon base and again, try to, to flesh out the Earth to Moon infrastructure as a launching pad, sort of a stepping stone to getting to Mars. That's still the long-term plan, but that takes time to develop all of that, and we have to sustain the funding throughout it. Right now, NASA is experiencing another round of funding cuts if, you know, if the current bill goes through Congress, and that's going to threaten the Gateway Space Station is going to, you know, it's going to threaten future missions to the moon. And once again, like we won't have return to the moon fully because of funding, because of money and incentive. And that's it. It's not a technological reason. That's just nonsense. That's just a straw man. It's BS. Don't believe it.